say sure it's hurt ng gameplay nah, i want to do mobiles today i've seen a lot of people in the past uh, couple days really like curious about mobile turrets and stuff just saying like they're they don't know how to play with them so let's get some let's get some mobile turret gameplay in today because like i know everyone knows how to use regular turrets you just place them down and whatever depending on how you build the run whatever whatever but uh you know might as well help some people are enjoying ourselves today as we do i wish the enemies would help me in spawn <laughs> That's actually very, very good for the turrets as well. I think if I ever use mobile turrets, you should. I think they're really good. Mobile turrets sprint? I barely use them, I have no idea. They don't sprint 99% of the time. They only sprint when they're like really far away from you and they uh, have some like overdrive to catch up. But no, they don't sprint on like purpose or in combat. So they don't use a little disciple or one or anything. Which is a shame, but, you know, that's how it is. I think you this one, guess. I wish. Now, sadly, they just walk. A slow walk. Also means they can't use energy drinks, or rose bucklers, or anything, or a disciple, or any of the cool ones that you'd want them to use, but... I wish... They were made a little bit differently. Get more synergies. But it's alright. I still enjoy them. I think I still enjoy them more than stationary turrets, so... I'm still very much a fan. Whenever I use station, I like them more than mobile. That's fair. I don't know, I go back and forth. I mean, I enjoy both. I just like, you know, getting a gloop on mobile turrets is like such a powerful feeling. That is not a powerful feeling. Is there just like not that much stuff? It's a lot of drones. It's fine. Can we boss skip? No. <laughs> no, we can't. This is like the worst thing that could happen, so. I'm trying not to get blasted by the one that's shooting the turrets. Have to take some of the marine shots. One down. I got knocked into it. Holy fuck, it almost fucking flicked me because of the drone. Ow. Wisp pushed me into the AoE from the uh, the Blazing Golem shot. That cost a lot of health. Should have taken up the Wisps, but like, really wanted the Golems to die. The main thing, I just like, I wasn't worried about dying as much as breaking my elixir. Very important to keep while your hordes a thing. It's like a failsafe a lot of the time for like incompatible spotting zones with teleporters. Uh oh, I hate it, man. Well. I thought my turrets would pull more aggro. There was no reason to lose that. Um, I know where a healing drone is. We can get that before we have to wait or whatever for the... If I use mobile turrets, aren't they weaker than the others? No, they aren't. This is why I use the mobile turrets today also. Not only do I like them, but a lot of people just think they suck. So... <laughs> I guess someone uses them. I don't know. They prefer, like, the bleed build for stationers or something. I think they're really good. I think in a lot of situations they're better. Fungus Brain? Oh, true. Hmm. Harris, recently just got my Gold Eclipse. Congratulations, dude. Powerful fucking moves. You're finally done. Love that. Alright, let's see what we gotta do here. There is a Void Seed. We got the God Pot spots. Everything's lining up perfectly. I need damage right now instead of utility. Because that console isn't gold though, is that a mod? It is, yeah. It does a lot of wood enemies, man. Don't break my bear. There's nothing I could really do about that fucking bug that flew across the map. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> How do I know when I should go to the void fields teleporter? When you can survive void fields. If you can't survive void fields, then don't go. And that means differently to everybody, right? But like, if I can live through the fog, which is just like, you know, on E5+, plus, just like three, uh, Wungus, I'll go. I can loot everything on the map and then leave. But if I can't survive, and I can't really complete an event either, because it's hard, why would I go there just to die? But it is like a free extra sage if you can do it. And she has a rough time in void fields? I don't think so. I actually think it's the opposite. I think NG has... A very good time in woodfields. 
especially depending on what you have. Going from portal to portal. I mean, no one should be going from portal to portal. I, I think if you do void fields, like actually do void fields and complete it, the only one good for that is like what void fiend. Do I just go like full of gas build? Maybe. Yeah. Front access void fields and NG or Captain Free through the Destins if you're not careful. I have like a clip where I show you how to get down there without um, any items. Do the thing. This is the good path, by the way. If you want to know. If you're curious. I might get gas here. I don't, I don't have a uh, scrapper, but... I finished ate a few months ago. I'm gonna try Ember for the first time. Wish me luck. Good luck, dude. I think you'll do great. You can do E8. You can, uh, you can do it eventually. You have it within you. Okay, I just want to make sure there was no scrapper, but I guess I'm losing the key and the little bit of mocha that I have. But we're gonna get bands as well, so like single target damage will be good, especially with shurikens. We print. Guys, relax. I was gonna try to keep something, but like, Sake was last, and I was like, alright, well... Have you ever played Torres Fargo Soul Mod Eternity Mode? Do you like the challenge? Maybe I would, but... I'm just not interested in playing Torres right now. I lost a lot of uh, the willpower to play it after I beat uh, whatever the new secret seed is. Master mode, get fixed boy or whatever. I need like another year or something before I get in the mood again. Rotate to like once every year. Yeah, like the Minecraft rotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much in the mood rotational. Yeah. Cause like, you know, this is the progression of it and then you complete the progression and then you're done, you know? You don't want to keep starting over. Really, it's not really that kind of game. The progression is the fun. And I think it is fun, but I need time to want to redo it. That's an item. That's also an item, buddy. And gee, my mans. Okay, once that poly loot comes in, holy. I was about five seconds away from beating Emerald Face earlier, which is a BB. Congrats. It's hard, man. It is tough. I think we should probably just take Crunder. Just more fair. MP build? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, even if not, it's still like, this will get us through the first four stages without any problem. So I don't really have to worry about anything else now. Slug, maybe? Oh, that's fine. Drone parts? Man. That's hard to say no to. But we already have like a pretty good setup with shurikens and bands. In my ignition tank, ah, uh, but it makes my turrets fucking good. No, I don't want to. Like, I want to, but like, I think this has a better odds of winning than that does. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's painful. So wise man once said we ball. I think the quote is, uh, I greeted and then I lost. But that's an interesting interpretation. If there was a scrapper, we would have obviously gotten it, but greed is good. No, it isn't. <laughs> so I haven't won on Merc in six runs? That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, everyone, like, I, I want, like, a new rule, right? Like, where if you tell me to go into the cauldron, uh, you also have to tell me your uh, win rate. And then we'll, uh, we'll see. You try and void fields this run? Uh, no. Not unless I get enough healing to withstand it. I'm not, I don't force it. If it happens, it happens. But you, you never know what you're going to be given, so I don't know what the plan is. Are we turrets any good? Yes. Why do I get three harpoons in a row? What is this? What is happening? I hope there's a uh, scrapper on the stage. This is basically a full red item, man. The harpoons in Aegis is comically insane. I... It's crazy, dude. <laughs> like, actually crazy. You keep getting harpoons, eventually they're good? Eventually, sure. We get a boost for a while, you know? It gives me a few stacks. It feels kinda good for a little bit. Dude, I thought that was the other harpoon, actually. I almost got harpooned off the side, huh? Oh, 
That's good. All right, what do we want? Okay. <laughs> Gotta get my beautiful ages. Now our, our bravery is tested. I don't know. We don't have an FMP. Or a fuel cell. We do have a lot of trash. I'm also dreaming for Grove. Hopefully we get a scout. I will lose at least one harp or one shuriken. Probably both. And at least one band. The thing is, I also know on Grove there aren't any equipment trash shops, right? So I, I don't think this is we already we'll always keep the poly loot. This is the big thing I'm worried about losing, I guess. But if we lose both, it's not the end of the run yet either. Because we still have crowdfunder. So I think it could be okay. Like I think it's it's definitely a risk. And we can lose a lot of power from doing it. But I think it could be okay if we lose everything that we kind of want to keep. It won't take all the harpoons. That's we can assuredly say that it will take at least one of each of these. I guess if I had an FMP I'd do it. But I don't wanna like find one later and regret it. Nah, but then like if I don't get an FMP, I'm gonna just be really sad about it. I think there's a scout. <laughs> what we can do is just build up a lot of enemies together and then try to uh, gas out the scout. What equipment does he have? He has bandolier, I see that. He has gas, which is actually kind of scary. 42% chance not to take a shuriken at all. Right, but if you judge every situation by what is most likely or least likely, and not what you can endure from losing the thing that you want most, uh, you'll just lose all the time. Because more often than not, it will take the thing that you want to keep. And there's no avoiding that. And what if it does? What's the backup plan? Can I ever find Legend of Trust in this map? Can you show me where to go? You have to find where the mushrooms are. There's five different spots for it. Here, 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 over here, and down below this. Okay. FMP value. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Maybe the FMP's right here. And it's still good, even if it is, but... With the med kit, we're gonna need to find a way to not have him heal. I guess I have Crunder, but we need to stay away from him for a while. I don't know what equipment he has, though. Insane. The scab get Gubo? Yes. If a Gubo- Alright, okay, Gubo scabs can also get different, like, items and shit when they spawn or whatever. And if a Gubo scab spawns with Dio's, and then dies to the timeout from being a Gubo, it will respawn and not have the timeout for being a Gubo. So it's just an infinite uh, scab that transcended death and life. It's actually fucking terrifying. And it's faster and stronger. And I've encountered that once and it was just awful, actually. Wow, man. It's getting tough out here. I have to be careful near ledges because I have so many harpoons that uh, they just throw me off. So I have to make kind of scab the first time? That's funny. Sorry for your loss. Dude, this build is not uh, where I want it to be, for sure. Say five speed printer, and yeah, we'll see. A lot of movement though, so far. We do have a lot of FMP-esque things. When I go for a scout, well, I can't kill him right now. He's much more powerful than I am. And if I can't kill him immediately, then he'll keep getting items, and then I lose. So it's better to kill him in a controlled environment, where I can kill him without anything else popping up around me. we let him power up, it's over. Obviously we don't want that. So have this here, maybe we can burn him, but... Nope. Burn me with gas. He's kind of getting lowish. Um, could try for it here though. Don't let him heal. Picked up Brooch, he's gonna actually get barrier. I don't have enough gas range to actually hit him with gas from here. That sucks. If he had an ignition tank, it'd be bad. I don't think he has an equipment or if he uses equipment. He didn't do anything. It's really weird. Not really a thing that great we just haven't gotten a scrap for this run, that's the main problem. Do you rather use bubble shield or stationary mines if you had to? Stationary mines. Your missiles here, the harpoons, are like your main source of like damage from yourself as NG. Recycler or something? I don't know. Feather.
Mm. Insane. We have the three fucking healing reds in the game. That's actually insane. I guess that's it. Pick up our shitty reds. I hope we get a red printer next stage. That's rare though. I'm not too excited here. I've just been getting punished lately for something. I pissed off the universe. I will take that. I just wanna hold the. Wow. Molotov or a caffeinated? Wow, we. Aren't we lucky? And then DML. Great. I still have a 5% number win rate. I think you should go into the White Cauldron. Uh, whatever it may be. You're correct. Actually. I don't know how we recover from this, to be honest. That's a start. Wait a minute. Then you go up top, find out what the third equipment is. Sprint? Speed? Okay. That's definitely a start. We're gonna have to, like, pretty much go on saw. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, so worst case scenario, we can give up all of our white items for speed. And just kind of keep greens and voids for damage. Which wouldn't be awful. What the hell are you doing out there? Trying for a feather, you and me both. Nowhere. Six stun grenades? I picked up six stun grenades. That's crazy. Oh, hello? That is not a solution. We're still gonna have to pick up egg pretty much, right? Crunder is good for damage, but we're gonna have to sacrifice damage. I mean, that's just the same interesting run. I mean, obviously, I'm glad I didn't go into the Soulbound. I think I'm not as glad that I didn't go into the uh, Drone Man, though, probably. Alright. Well, we have speed, you know? Have to go for a Feather here. Okay, that's fine. That's more damage. All of these are used. I'm not taking Quail, dude. I can't. Okay. How am I getting so unlucky? I have 11 gas and 5 whatever left. This is taking a lot of medkits. Okay, please give me empathy course. Thank you, maybe. Death mark. Not as good, but you know. From the course save this one, they could have. We have uh, turret slow and gas. It's not enough for death mark. They're not gonna really proc the band. Even in a perfect scenario, it's not good enough. But addition for TP events, they give double items randomly, but they're random white instead of a green. Nah. You already get so much power. You don't really need that much more. If someone wants more loot, they could always loot. That's really good. Alright, I don't really know if I need any more speed. It is a lot of speed. We have to remember we don't have a feather, so it's like, it's hard to say. I mean, at least we're ruckled up. Question, can you tune difficulty in Umbral Mythics mod? Yes. Yes, you can. By how much and what is your setting? I have everything default Umbral, but you can turn everything down or everything up using the config. Honestly, I'm just taking this, like... I'm gonna get a little bit of speed. A little bit more. All of my items are so bad, it doesn't even matter what I lose. It's crazy. What a crazy run. Man. <laughs> Is 17 energy drinks enough? Please give me a white cauldron. That's all I want. That's all I ask. Shuriken? I don't know. Some of the worst soup I've ever seen. Alright. As long as we theoretically keep away from him in phase one, we can probably be fine. I hate the clones, man, so much.
Ya Allah. Hello. Okay, that's annoying. We got our harpoon speed buff there that made us go faster. Phase two. Hopefully I could just delete the clone. deleted them. Nukahana Bungusing. I just lost my server spaces.
I am happy with how I played that, actually. Ugh. That was really hard. I'm happy that I realized sooner than later that I could actually utilize the trimping with enough speed on the on the very shallow inclines, not the big ones. That was nice. Oh god. I got there, I got there. This goes to show you gotta use what you got. You gotta use whatever you can. Vert value zero? That's not true. It actually helped me out in phase two. Man, 